Okay. So that was kind of a great success, in a way. What I am anticipating, problem-wise, is first off that I haven't uh, implemented Mojo well enough or has done something wrong that I won't be able to do my OpenGL rendering and render. That's one problem. Secondly, I'm not completely certain that a my gradient rendering line clipping is completely reliable. It seems really reliable, but it might be harder to tell in the future when that's something that's gone wrong. Well, anyway, that's something I will have to think about. And also, I'm not as reliable as FFmpeg seems to be once I have it set up to run it's still I'm still I accept that I'm not um, God I'm getting completely lost in this code I accept that I'm not I don't understand very much about FFmpeg or indeed about running these processes separately like things like what happens when I terminate the process, what if I terminate a process that has terminated itself? I mean, I would really hope that would be okay, but this thing about using the exit code seems really neat, and it's a good thing to know if I do more monkey projects which use processes. I'll have to remember that this exit code thing seems to work when connecting up, you know, these things which I will never use. Render message, uh, yeah, getting them STD out and STD f and the uh, process finish, finished. Functions just doesn't seem to work. Anyway, the things that I want to do immediately are slightly improve the look of this output. It can just go back to being line height. Um, I suppose I could say so text or font font medium I think that's a little bit smaller than line height but it is supposed to be readable and also I want to do a little thing which will which will do what just getting rid of swathes of this stuff. The debug rights in recursor I will keep. The debug rights in render seem pointless. This is just no longer required. So the thing one of the things I want to do in update render when I am saying new message line which I do each time I want to advance a little thing which I suppose I'm going to have to just store variables for I don't have so much okay and I'm going to get this all, and I'm going to move it to the bottom, just out of the way. Maybe one day this will come back and be useful again, but for now, it's just another relic. For now. I have a much neater cursor. There are some things, other things I want here, and this also, well this I'm just going to go take away altogether, don't think that's required. This also I will take to the netherworld. Maybe one day. Now, Uh, 
excuse me, this is kind of annoying stuff to have, but it will be global like uh, anim frame uh, timer frame u int equals zero and mm, t anim string equals new string This is how I do it again. I can't quite remember. And what do I want? Some sort of thing which looks like this. And I will just have another little minus. this so it'll look kind of funny. Okay, fine, I'll spell it all out. Okay. And then inside update render. So as long as this exists, then things will continue. And one thing that will continue is timer anim equals g interrap timer anim plus one comma zero comma no 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 timer frame. Timer frame is so one comma zero comma timer anim length. Let me see if that makes sense. Length needs to be length minus one, I think. Here I want timer anim timer frame plus plus line. So that hopefully if I get that right once a second I'm pretty sure rep is inclusive, it can be the larger value. So I'm going to start, well one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compile this with the debugger off. And I'm going to compile it as it is. I think this works. I think I will ram out, temp out, because it just never really worked. Don't know why. I shouldn't need it. This is all much, much neater than it looks. It looks awful, but once I get rid of all the stuff I don't need. Okay, so first off, this. And I can get rid of all of these. Finished running app. Good. Here it is, and I pop it in. Now, for the cursor, well, for the main, I am still going to keep the debugger on. And let's see. 
Let's see if it shows me an animation. I also want to see that, that what that one second timer thing is like. Ugh. And the thing I need to do next is get into a render, clean up some things, and have a look at the OpenGL type renders. I guess I can test them out. Frames 5. Okay. I will have my task manager. Oh, don't bother. Don't bother. I hate not knowing where I can click to get a task manager. Not there. Right click on the clock. Task manager. I see my cursor. Okay. 15 loops, 5 frames. Let's make it uh, 20 frames. 4 recursions and the gradient. My GUI is now just no good for being squished up. Gradient's very low indeed. Okay. So I'm going to stick it straight into this again, I guess. One thing I will do really soon is switch to using the system file requesters. But maybe I won't. Maybe I will go back to the cursor things. And I'll save this animation there, just to see. Rendering animation. And there's my animation. It's not getting to the end, because obviously wrap is not inclusive. That's pretty silly of me, to say the least, but it's uh, working. Why is 12 taking so long? Okay, it's hit a problem, I'm sure of it. Yeah. Damn. And I do not know why. In temp, up to 11 is created, and then it died. Right. Well, one good thing is that I guess I can recreate that problem. I go back to render and I render it with the debugger on. I don't know what I actually it's going to do, mind you. What possible problem could I have introduced into our render? Well, I guess I will soon see.
I thought it would crash, but of course it's just taking much, much longer. Why would it be crashing? It's got itself into a problem. And it's just like gone into stasis. the image, right enough. Did work. And it went back to just being a single thing with about 40 megabytes. But something stopped working in our render. It wasn't to do with FFmpeg. It was something to do with frame 12. really not very many recursions and it has taken its sweet time and I'm not sure why I'm not sure why it's taking so long if I've taken down the recursions and this time it works then uh, not sure what it's well I'm still not sure either way I'm not sure what its problem is Okay, so it came to this sort of impasse. It's not had an error. Render update is still being called. It's really rendering a very different set of lines now, so I'm not I, what I would not expect. Frame 11 is somewhere around about kind of I don't know, here. So just uh, well, managed to render a single image from that state. Well, from close to it. I think 11's around there. Just over halfway through the animation. Yeah, not quite. You know, it does.
does look like it's about one little moment away from passing something right through. Oh, I'm never going to catch it like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, like I say, going from three recursions to four recursions is such a huge change in the lines that it's actually drawing. And all the way down to two, if it still just gets to eleven and then stops, then that's a really weird thing. I thought it was gonna get only going to get to three and then stop. It is really having a hard time. Like something, I think it, it's like the rendering to the frame at the end, which ha is totally independent of the number of recursions, I think just takes a lot longer. You going to manage? What possible reason could it have for getting 12 frames in and suddenly deciding? And it's not like, oh, it's bloody disappeared now, stupid thing. Well, what I was going to say is, it's completely gone. What I was going to say is I don't think that it's eating more and more memory. Don't think. I can't tell. I could have told before I guess. What happens if I just say do it again for me? Do I get my notification back? No, I do not. Okay. Why would it get 12 frames in? So it completes number 11. comes to an absolute halt. This is obscene. I'm not even really Yeah, a completely different set of Interesting that it updated what was loaded when a new when the content of the file changed, which is good, you know. That's but it just also allowed me to see the flickering change that showed me that how different two recursions is to three, which makes me think it's not some kind of problem with my rendering. I think. I don't know what the problem is. And I'm not sure how to get information about the problem. I suppose I can I can, you know, do write to a temporary file. God. What on earth can I do? 
do? Can I do something inside render that would help me? Like, can I do a render update inside render? None of these should ever come up. Uh -huh. Do I ever, ever but bail after this? discard pix maps as I have always done well all I can really think to do is to give this another go it's still sitting there what I am going to try and do is just recompile this Is it okay just to b abandon, to totally bail out of something? Okay. Mm, I feel dodgy doing that. Hey, wow, it does bails anyway, of course, because I'm compiling. Oh, damn it, and I should do pay more attention because when it bails like that out of the previous compile you know I compile the recursor the editor if I just bail then it doesn't save my state 20 15 to right okay Some really take a lot longer than others. Six, seven, eight. Come along. No, nope. just drops to zero has no errors or doesn't generate an error with any of those aspects anyway just just gives up get in here. Oh, my head. Looking at all this 
this, I think. Yeah, just, I really don't get it. starting to hurt a little bit, just thinking what possible things could be. Um, possible things. That's just meaningless. That's a local variable. It's about to be nullified anyway. Still, here I go. things. What would cause it to stop there? Is there any like... And what if I go wild and remove a point and then still just have it do that? Something maybe I want to look for is what? Yeah, this memory. 25, 28, 36, 23. Yeah. I mean, it's bouncing up and down, but it's what it is. Zero percent of the CPU, twenty two megabytes used, not leaking, not assigning more, just getting to frame bloody twelve. And Karkan. That is weird. That's the bit where it goes through the frames. I mean, it's obviously not getting to the end of that, because otherwise it would continue with creating the process, giving the updates. It's made much more complicated by the fact I can't get anything out of this. Or feel like I can't get anything out of it. Current balls afloat, frame steps afloat. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason those things should be creating any problem. Render update does nothing with temp or name yeah render update after it uses What's it getting? St how could it possibly be getting stuck in here? What is it that I'm doing differently now? When it was 
basically rendering everything perfectly. It's not starting to hog more memory. It's just suddenly stopping. Okay, well, I have no idea what changes I made there. Probably nothing significant, but here we go, I will just pop it in. I'm going to just do a, an OpenGL render. It might crash it. But, on the other hand, I ran the wrong thing. On the other hand, it might tell me something. I'm going to have to stop soon. It's already 36 minutes. This is troublesome. Okay, draw it by addition. See the task mangler. Pretty much instantly just uh, decided it wasn't up for it. just decided all it was going to do was render animation. Yeah, and that means it's not working, basically. Oh, me oh my. So what did it do there? It came to output anim. It called render multiple times. least it should have done. Yeah, rendering animation, output anim, project render name. Output anim, do this using render, render does something, including render OGL. This is actually probably impossible really to do under this current setup, isn't it? I'm going to have to run this as a first piece of code. And I'm going to have to move render, or copy it at least, into here. Then I'm going to have to compile this and hope for something. Render temp memory access violation Where just says rendering animation, and 
it says of memory access violation. And that's it. Like no indication about where. I just ran that again, it did nothing. It's no surprise. Debugger is on. Oh, me. Caused an error inside something to do with monkey. Render OGL. Created the image and color and canvas. Is that a problem? Clear. saying there's a problem with clear. This is baffling me. paper color and ink color like rang <sighs> how could it be getting to render OpenGL Okay, right, well, here's one thing I can do. I hate getting bogged down in this, but so it goes. Is I go back to gradient and I just say animation, save. And I get to the same rubbish, I should, it should render some frames. And then, I guess, just as usual, it'll get frame 11 and stop. But it will have generated uh, the render thing there. Yep, at this time, that's when it generated. So I can stick that in here. Replace that. For what it's worth, I'll just watch this come to a halt ponder the meaning of why. Yeah, churning away, having a hard old time, and bang. Suddenly it's not fine, it's just not doing anything. I know it's not fine. I'm about to show that I get another memory access violation by running it here. But really, I will
interesting though. I'm not keeping count anymore. it's past it, it's going to complete it. On this occasion it is going to manage it. I can't believe it. thing is bloody disappeared so I can't tell but I'm pretty sure FFmpeg's running as we speak. Recursor anim is appearing at zero. Yeah. Okay well this is really quite annoying. Finish debugging it and recursor anim is here. And yeah, it's just some crazy shit. But basically that worked. And I don't have a clue why. But the R render from here... ...worked. And this which is now exactly the same code. It's going to crash. I'm pretty sure, I don't think I've changed it. I think I can just say animation. Yes, I do. get my bit of information. If it is crashing as a process but not as an executable, then I become quite stumped. And I think, here it goes again. Can't quite do it. Well, that's 50 minutes. And I'm really puzzled by that. I'm asking for the same thing, I'm so sure of it. It's made its 11 frames. I take the same render project, copy it here, overwrite that, just run our render. Our render. 27, 28% yet. Yeah. No sign of what it's doing. But because it's just in the background. The exact same code. Will render a certain amount, 
won't render more. Like it really baffles me how on earth uh, how on earth I fix that problem. And I can't think of a way. And it does make me think, well, maybe I should just, maybe this is the time that I have to get real. And how is it going to open up? Or does it just manage 11 frames? No, there's no, well, there's 19 frames in there now. I didn't see FFmpeg run. I think it didn't manage it again. Is that possible? Well, this is here. But that would have been there from last time. I should have deleted that. I should have deleted those. What? Okay, well maybe it did just work. the thing. I'm going to run to the end of this or when it stops and then I'm going to call it another video. I think it's going to manage this though. And I think that if I can't sort this by doing some pretty smart or pretty straightforward yeah look there it is 12 no problem 13 14 the exact same program presented with the exact same there it starts to curse around him give it a few moments and that will be complete doesn't correctly mention its subordinate, but never mind, can't have everything. Now I really don't know. The only thing I can think, and well, no, this isn't even a thought really. Let me see if this finishes for one thing. CPUs at 100%, which I take it means FFmpeg is running somewhere. There it is. Finished. This is back to uh, a fair bit, but not all of it. And this is a valid animating anim. This basically will make no difference as far as I'm aware. But if I go to R render, make it the build file, say make it a console command, yeah, overwrite that, do it with the debugger running. I have no idea why this would make any difference. I don't believe it would. And there it is. Copy this. Oops. Copy. God's sake. Copy this over. Replace that. And just out of curiosity, I'm not really sure what the difference between a console and a GUI command are. Both types of thing seem to do both types of thing. All types of thing anyway. Right, 20 frames, 15 loops. Go for it boyo. That text is still too small. I should have removed those things, the, tempor the images that were in temp, I should have removed them as well, just so I could have watched them fill up. 
excuse me. Okay, this is going to crash, or at least stop moving in a moment. At that point, I've got to stop thinking about it for a short time. And then I will reconsider. Nothing. That's it. It gets to 11. And just stop. Yeah, the console's now open, but this has behaved exactly the same. Got to the same point, just ran out of steam. Okay. Well, for now, I'm going to think about it, and we will try and sort it next time.